Fair, I'll play the cards out of spade All my lines go over the head, they need some shade All my lines go over the head, no I ain't throwing no shade Look a real young star, you gon' find me on the page Hi right, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Solo Alright, so today We got a video I personally want to react to It's a, uh, what was that bitch called? Oh, uh, when you become literally impossible to defend So this is about Lamar Jackson you know, we've been fucking with the football videos as of lately. So I want to keep, you know, keep going with the football video. I got some more requests I got to uh, react to. So we're going to react to them soon. But I want to react to this. If you're new to the channel, bro, please leave a like. Please subscribe. You feel me? We're going up, bro. If you, if, 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 if you click on the video you're watching right now, bro, you're going to want to watch some more. So you might as well subscribe, bro. It's all kind of content when you slide through, bro. We got reactions. I do vlogs sometimes. You feel me? Uh... Workout videos. I'm finna start doing my little uh, lock journey with my hair. So we feel I'm gonna bring y'all with, uh, with me with that experience. So you feel me? It's gonna be a lot. You feel me? Going up. You feel me? I, I, and I've been going crazy on COD. Face hello. Collateral one shot headshot revenge. Face hello. Hey, what, what I think I. <laughs> so I damn to insert a clip right here. I've been going crazy on the COD. Hold on, hold on. Hey, solo again. Fop. Hold on, get out the way. Fop. Fop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's three. Fop, four. Damn. Fop, fop. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I hit Mark. Hold on. Oh, that's cool. Fop, fop. Hold on. Fop, six. Jesus. Holy moly. Who's eating macaroni? Because Jesus. Oh, my. I feel big, you feel me? Catch me on the block with the knock clap. Okay. Feel me? All right, look. All right. Kill them camp, you feel me? They camping, I don't know they camping, so they finna slide back up. Feel me? Boom, boom, that is that. It's one more. The fuck was he doing? <laughs> what the fuck? The whole team spawned now. Damn. 57 in my, in my clip. Gee, he lu hey, folks, lucky I had to reload. Folks, lucky I had to reload. Quasi. Super kill. <laughs> yeah, you saw that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I be going crazy. So I'm, you feel me? Like on the gaming channel, I gotta check that out. You feel me? Uh, yeah, bro. But you feel me? Y'all new? Subscribe, man. Comment. You feel me? Just let me know if y'all fuck with me or not. That's all I wanna know. You feel me? All right, let's get into it, man. I got food too. I don't be know if y'all feel some kind of way because I'm eating and you ain't eating and I'm damn near made you hungry. So like, you damn near feel this a food right now. Cause I'm gonna smash it. <laughs> form of quarterback a style that we have never seen playing the position like never before and bro he no really like that has ever run the ball like him and now that his passing ability offensive scheme and offensive weapons have drastically improved nfl defenses simply have no idea how to defend him you maybe on, maybe on his ass they be saying like he only a running back like he's not supposed to be a quarterback or they be saying he be choking the playoffs so we finna see this Sunday when you go against Pat Patrick Mahomes. Who y'all think gonna win? See, I, I want Lamar. I don't like the Chiefs, bro. Like, I don't like the Chiefs, bro. I don't like teams that are always winning. Like, damn, like, give, give somebody else a chance. Like, damn, you thirsty as hell. Like, y'all not even. Bro, that should, that should be rigged. We ain't, I, we ain't even talk about that, bro. Just to be able to stack the box and force him to beat you through the air with subpar receivers who were never schemed open. But now he's gotten way better as a pocket passer. He's gotten receivers who can actually make plays themselves. And he's gotten a scheme that improves his passing instead of hurts it. Today, we'll dive into the film to discover just how hard it is to defend 2023 Lamar Jackson. But before we do, I want to thank this season sponsor, Prize Picks. Hell no. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy sports site. I don't care about none of that every shit. Day. They've got a ton of sports. He's developed it to keep continuing the. The first thing that pops out on film, especially against the 49ers and Dolphins, arguably two of the best teams in the league, is that nobody knows how to rush Lamar. The okay. are so terrified of his ability to escape the pocket and run down the field that defensive linemen have to slow their rush to keep contained in the pocket, which gives him all the time in the world. He's developed as a passer a ton. But a part of that is how lax defenses have to play when rushing. Him, you got run gives him tons of time to sit back and rip him. He has the second longest time to throw in the NFL at 3.2 seconds because he's often getting six, seven, eight. 
The Dolphins tried just rushing forward to keep as many bodies in can't do that. Possible. You feel me? So they used stunts to force him into pressure, but well, Lamar gonna... is him. They rush Andrew Van Ginkle and Christian Wilkins heavy up the field to force him to his left. This gives him the idea that heat is coming from that side. Plus, when he sees Bradley Chubb slanting inside, he's supposed to feel the pressure both from his right and from the interior, which flushes him to his left, which is where Zach Sealer is waiting with a trap. But even when the scheme is perfect, Lamar is Lamar, and he runs up and down the field. Because defenses can't be aggressive in rushing him, they're forced to give him space, and like I said, maybe well, you have to have a QB spying. Which has kind of worked in the past, but not this year. When defenses play closer to the line to keep him in check, he stays in the pocket and rips up their coverage. Here the Bengals are playing a specialized cover one man rack coverage to stop Lamar from running. They have Dax Hill, Logan Wilson, and Jermaine Pratt playing kind of a zone on Isaiah Likely and Gus Edwards. Then whoever doesn't take a receiver has Lamar as a spy, rat defender, playing a zone in the middle. Lamar starts to his left, hoping Chidobe Awuzie is playing zone coverage and bailing deep on Rashad Bateman's route, which Bateman comes back on. But when Awuzie bumps him, Lamar easily progresses to the backside dig to Odell. Backside digs are impressive pass. because it demonstrates a lot of skills. You feel me? You're really throwing a route you can't really see before you release. It shows you know the you got, you coverage, feel me? you're accurate, and you're playing on time when you're hitting it directly over the middle. His pre-snap processing has also hey, improved. Now best I play with that man. Process what the defense is going to do before they do it. And the new offensive coordinator Todd Munkin has given him more freedom to attack defenses with his mind, and Lamar has shown he can deliver. He sees the Dolphins are in a one-high coverage and have already been playing a ton of man coverage. So he checks to the one-high beater slot fade we always talk about on this channel, and from the back view, look at his pocket movement. It's not ideal he doesn't set his feet, but that also makes his accuracy on this 40-yard seed that much more impressive. Look at where he's able to stick this thing on Odell. He's improved his ability to pass while maintaining the playmaking ability with his <clears throat> legs and his yeah. arm, even when the defense calls the perfect coverage. Here he starts to his right, but as a backside line concept, double slants, which he'll progress to after. When Odell feels the corner crashing down on him and knows his slant won't be open, he improvises, and to hit a backside slant in quick game... So that's more so Odell, it ain't really... When the slant runs an improved route is insanity. Defenses saying. don't know how to rush him. They don't know how to defend him. Even when they do everything perfect, there's just no way to stop him. And they go. <clears throat> like Curry. Close <laughs> like Curry. If you if you play too 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 far back on Curry, he gonna lace that mug. You feel me? But if you play too close, he gonna go by and drive right past you. With, like how do you guard that shit, bro? You can't guard a dude who can throw that bit anywhere. But then he can also run. Like, you're not catching him, bro. Like, I don't know what his four, his, his uh, 40 yard dash shit, but I know that shit, like, top, top tier. For this example, the 49ers have an <laughs> awesome defensive play call with, honestly, an awesome disguise. They put their safety, Jair Brown, on Isaiah Likely, which is a man coverage tell, like body on like body. And then they have their nickel cornerback, Diamador Lenore, showing blitz inside the slot receiver with safety to Sean Gibson overly obviously trying to stack him which is a clear indicator Lenore is blitzing so Gibson can cover him at least that's what they want him to think but then the Niners drop out into this cover for zone coverage executing what's really a beautiful disguise but almost nothing matters against this man if it is this all out blitz which it looks like he figures he'll hit the out route against the safety who should be inside leverage and that actually should work against cover four zone two because the hook defender is leveraged inside as well. But when that isn't open, he tries to come back to Rashad Bateman, who's breaking down in his comeback route. Not open either. So he scrambles around and makes a play. Like, imagine how frustrating this is. Plus the fact that while the 49ers don't have their A line on the field, they still have Nick Bosa, Randy Gregory's in here too, but they just don't know how to handle Lamar in the pocket. Sounds, bro, even with I, a good coverage disguise behind him. It's literally, he, he tips, literally, it's, it's great Lamar coverage. Know how to proceed after that? Gregory, like fuck it, I'm gonna run because I'm like that. The field and runs himself <laughs> off. The D tackles are just kind of holding space, not attacking, and Lamar is able to squirt free and pick up an easy ten. He has become nearly impossible to defend. And a big part of that is the philosophical change the Ravens have made, bringing in Todd Munkin as an offensive coordinator and getting rid of Greg Roman. 
Roman gets a bad rap, in my opinion. Early in Lamar's career, he wouldn't have been successful with a typical offensive coordinator. Roman brought a hyper-specific QB run mm. and team that helped Lamar slowly develop and then later outgrow. So now that he's all the move is no nasty. Run, it makes sense that Roman is out and Munkin is in. Good offensive play callers help their quarterback with a scheme. Great offensive play callers almost hold the quarterback's hand in scheme guys wide open. Not that Lamar needs his handheld, but look how open these freaking receivers are. Munkin is good enough to isolate defenders and attack them, which speaks to his ability to game plan during the week and then actually execute it on Sundays. He isolated Jerome Baker's replacement Duke Riley against the Dolphins, where he knew Miami would play a steady diet of man coverage. So he positions Isaiah Likely in what's called a nasty split, five yards off the tackle, so that Likely can rub Riley and help Justice Hill win down the field. When Riley goes under Likely, Hill can just run over the top. And it's a wide Damn. open receiver, schemed open by Munkin. He really yeah, helps see, like, here. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even know this video is gonna be like this, so... It's some knowledge, knowledgeable ass shit. Like, and I don't know, no, I don't really got that much knowledge on football, so I'm learning some shit. But I thought it was gonna be more exciting, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, this shit kind of dry. But we gonna keep it going. <laughs> By shifting into this formation pre-snap, where the Ravens start Hill outside to see if Riley follows. When Lamar sees him lined up, then sees him follow Hill into the backfield. This is all he needs to execute the play. He checks into it with a little hand sign, and we are off to the races. Now. Sometimes coaches are afraid to go back to the well if something is working. They might not have faith in execution. They might think defenses have made an adjustment to their concept. But Munkin knows to go pedal to the metal again when necessary. Now he moves around his chest pieces a bit so the Dolphins <coughs> can't catch on. But it's still the same concept. Now Rashad Bateman, the receiver, is in a similar nasty split. Not quite the same, but it's reduced. And Munkin has Nelson Aguilar motion across to make sure the nickel corner <laughs> follows him in man coverage. This indicates to Lamar it's man. And once again, when Riley goes under the rub, it's too easy. Damn, Still it's same play. Difficult throw. But this is wide open in the NFL. It's like same play, folks. When looking ahead at Lamar's postseason prospects, especially a few years removed after the rough 2019 experience, where this team feels pretty similar to the one back then. I will say there are times where he's inaccurate. He's not consistent in hitting his receivers on the correct shoulder, or they'll have to reach out of their frames for the ball. He is eighth highest in bad throw percentage, according to Pro Football Reference, and Damn. also according to Pro Football Reference, he got better. on target percentage is 24th highest. And sometimes when he's starting to run and throw, he's careless with his footwork, which of course makes his accuracy problems worse. These problems aren't by any means insurmountable. But what we saw years ago in that 19 Titans playoff game was a team that suddenly got down after a few bad series and didn't have a second pitch. Well, now they no, no, do, with that and shit. that is <clears throat> thanks to Lamar. I still have the Ravens as my Super Bowl favorite. I think they've learned from that Titans upset, which was devastating. And now that they're in a similar position with a similarly dominant team, I don't think anybody is going to surprise them in the same way. Lamar Jackson was incredible back in his first MVP season, but he was a completely different player. Now he is refined from within the pocket. No matter what the coverage is, he can pass or run. And he is finally aided with good <coughs> skill talents and a very good <coughs> coordinator. This he got some thing in his young the Ravens <laughs> are different. This time they know how to play, and this time they will win the Super Bowl. Okay. I, w I want them to win. I ain't gonna lie. No more videos from him, though. I thought it was gonna be like some highlights for some reason. Hi, YouTube. Thanks for coming through. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. You mess with me, so I mess with you. Yeah, man. I thought it was gonna be some, you feel me, some highlights type shit. It wasn't a bad video. Like I said, I'm not knowledgeable on uh on football like that. So that shit was okay, decent. You feel me? How you show me the coverage is and the 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 fake blitz and you really just finna bag back with that, you know what I'm saying? Ah, you feel me? That's cool to me. But it wasn't super duper exciting. But uh let me know what y'all wanna see. Um <clears throat> Let me know what y'all wanna see next. Leave in the comment y'all wanna see some Lamar Jackson highlights. I don't know if I react to him or not. But we can watch that. There's all kind of shit we can do. But yeah man, I'll figure it up out of here, man.
For a Trump got the vote, I ran me up more than 10 Gone outside about a whole hood, fuck your friend I put diamonds on my teeth, I'm forever gonna green RP325, we go up out of 10 They from the back, beat you up, I want your leg for the bend So they thought a nigga was done, I was going right back in And you can call a nigga racist, I got blue back in She gave me hair, there was gracious, now I blew it back in We drove the load out of town, then we flew back in I